What's up, e-bike fans? Super exciting news. I am finally getting an electric 2.0. After all this time kind of waiting and putting it off, I got a statement from Levi Conlo, the CEO and co-founder of Electric E-Bikes. And after reading his statement, I decided I'm not going to wait. I'm going to jump on it. So I have electric 2.0 on the way. But I'll explain more about it in the video. Let's get started. Okay, so before we get started going into what the letter said from Levi Conlaw, I just want to give a shout out to him for taking the time to go ahead and actually give this statement. Uh, I had reached out to their customer service saying, hey, just is there anything insights that he might want to be able to share with uh, what's going on with uh, electric and the inventory issues? How have they been able to keep their prices so low and are they going to continue to keep it low? I was really curious because right now on their, on their website, it says that they are fully in stock. And you know that's been pretty awesome for them to, to be able to do that. So I reached out to him or through their customer service and I actually got a, a full statement back from him. And this is Levi. For those who don't know, he's the CEO and one of the co-founders of Electric XP. So here's what the statement said. And um, I hope you guys don't mind, but I actually put the, the logo on the top. It was really, I just cut and pasted it out of a, the statement out of an email that came in. But I just wanted to make it look more official for the video. But anyway, here's what it says. Uh, he said, inventory is going is an ongoing challenge. Nevertheless, we've been able to increase our inventory over the past few months and really refine our fulfillment process to get most bikes shipped within two business days. Now, here's the thing. I actually just placed my order yesterday and it's already expected to actually come in. It was actually being shipped out today and I got notification it'll be coming in on Friday, which is just two, four days. So yeah, they actually really have been able to get their bikes out pretty pretty quick i mean it's just that's that's really amazing and uh, you know i be believe that the warehouse they have one that's in southern california so that's one of the reasons why it's coming so quickly but the fact is that they actually got it shipped and notification on when it'll arrive is going to be within a couple of days so as he says this is a huge step for us given the numerous supply chain issues that have resulted from covid 19 we were in pre-order before it was cool to be in pre-order we have always had overwhelming demand it feels like finally we have our feet under us and we've have made the right investments to set up, uh, set our company up for not only meeting, but even exceeding customer expectations. At this moment, we are strengthening inventory and continue to build reserves with the holiday rush in mind. So keep this in mind, guys. They were in back order for so long and they were, you know, part of the delays with the shipments that were all coming in. Right now, it's really bad. I'm going to be talking a little bit about how bad it is right now. I mean, you guys have seen some of the other videos I talk about the ports, but it's global how bad this issue is anyway back to the word uh, back to the statement the holidays are really going to test our inventory we could sell out again this holiday season and due to the sheer size of e-bike packages and the overwhelming quantity being shipped it can be very difficult for fedex to process all of the orders out there now this is by all means a big problem for fedex because everybody's using them they must be one of the least expensive ways to ship larger quantity items, but they are coming out with statements saying that they have an issue. So I'm going to take a break right in this middle to go ahead and just bring up this, this headline of the Wall Street Journal posted FedEx is still struggling with late deliveries. I'm not going to go over the whole article, but basically they were saying that they are having really hard issues getting all of the demand or all of the shipping done in time because of the high demand of everybody ordering things. Now, keep in mind, bikes are big. They are really big. In fact, when you have a bike arrive to your house, a lot of times these FedEx drivers are just worn out of delivering so many of them. I mean, uh, you know, they come sometimes a little banged up and it's because they're just so heavy and they're so big. But also imagine how big their trucks are. They have all the little packages and then they have a bunch of these big bikes in there that completely fill it up that they've moved around all day to get make space. They are having issues, but mostly one of the biggest challenges that FedEx is having is actually work. Um, they don't have enough employees. So they are trying to staff up and this Christmas season is going to be crazy. That's the one thing. Just keep in mind, they are already everybody from the, the head of the toy association all the way down to actually even the head of, I think was UPS was saying, do your Christmas shopping now because there is going to be a backlog of shipping that's going to be out there. Not to mention now we actually have a derailment that just happened out there. And with that, that's actually shutting down one of the train lines going across the country as well. So we are having other issues that are coming up, but there is going to be a big shipping problem and it's not going to be necessary. They can't fulfill the order. It's just, they can't get trucks to get it out there. So 
One of the reasons that you might want to go and pick up early is not only because they might run out of inventory, like he said. I don't know how big it is, but this is going to be a big season for e-bikes. That's for sure. FedEx, uh, it can be very difficult for FedEx to process all the orders out there. Black Friday is, of course, what everyone is gearing up for. In an ideal world, orders would be spread over a couple of weeks in order to allow a more manageable fulfillment process. I think you'll see a lot of companies extending promotions to that end. We are certainly going to be encouraging our customers to order as soon as possible and budget for extra time for fulfillment. But our goal is still very simple. We want every customer who wants a bike under the Christmas tree to be able to have it. So I honestly think it's not going to be so much are they going to have it is will they be able to get all of the bikes onto FedEx trucks fast enough to get there for Christmas. I'm going to say this is one year you do not want to wait for sure. If you're planning to get a bike, this is the time to do it. Now, so this is where I wanted to know about pricing because that's been something that's really just boggling me. Everybody's been talking about their prices going up and here he goes into that so this is the last paragraph he has here with regard to pricing the story remains the same container prices are at extortion level rates and component prices continue to climb in the past month we've seen several leading brands announce price increases and others are coming out with higher price models to help offset the effects now that's really true i was going to do a whole video on rad and why some of their older models still have kept the lower prices because of the new models that are coming out, but that's another time. So uh, here, I personally have, uh, still have the same goal, which is to provide high performance quality bike at an attainable price. Electric will continue to absorb costs to the best of our abilities so we can continue to deliver that wow factor value for which we're known. It's in our DNA to deliver exceptional value and customer service, and we'll continue to use that as our moral compass as we, uh, while maneuvering all the other challenges that may come our way. So again, thank you, Levi. This is a statement that, like I said, it didn't. he probably didn't just spit this out. This is something that took some thought to go ahead and to portray really what's going on in the industry and with their company. And I am so just blessed that he actually took the time to do that because right away i mean immediately like i said i ordered my bike it's on its way and you know i i've been putting it off for a while because i just knew that they were all backlogged and i thought well i had other videos that i could do in the meantime but i've wanted to get the 2.0 for such a long time um the upgrades are worth it it is just i don't know like it's just the most reliable thing out there as far as like i have a you know 2003 tacoma uh toyota tacoma truck that has just it's just never failed it's run so sweetly and this is kind of how i think it's a base model truck and this is kind of like a base model um bike i mean with quality components that just will keep on going and they don't have to worry about it. i mean it's not gonna go ahead and uh, and outrace some of the other bikes that are out there at higher prices but for the components that you get for this bike at 9.99 you, it just can't be beat i mean so you know i Again, I, one way that I'm going to tell everybody right now, if you want to save money on getting an e-bike, one, buy it now. Uh, and this is not just for electric, but if you are looking at other bikes, prices are going to go up. And so let's go into, I guess, the other things that I normally go into. And, you know, there's a, a thing called the Marine Exchange that has a Twitter account. And basically every morning they post how many ships are out in the LA Long Beach ports. So today, this is as of today, 145 total ships are in port uh, at LA Long Beach, including 85 at anchor or drift areas at 60 berths. Of the 145, 97 container ships, including 64 are anchored. So there's 64 ships out and uh, just anchored out there waiting to get in. And think of that. Now that's 64. That's a lot. But if you also think of that, 64, the other, what is that, 33 are actually in part being unloaded. So yeah, 33 at birth here. So we have almost 100 ships currently at our docks on the West Coast alone trying to get out. Now, latest word I heard on another report was that there are another like 40 ships also anchored off of the East Coast ports trying to be unloaded. So it's not just our side. Everybody talks about the LA Long Beach ports being so backed up because it's a gauge we can all see. In fact, these, these pictures are kind of amazing. You should just just amazing how many things are out in fact if we go through here here christmas uh shopping crisis retailers warn of chaos the backlog supply chain I mean, 70 container ships queuing off the course of california and an, uh, another 60 off the coast of new york but this is the reason why i kept this so look at the pictures that are actually coming in this is just a parking lot of ships and all these container ships just sitting out there waiting to come in i mean the time frames are like 
from one day to like three weeks now for them to actually get a ship that used to arrive to come in. The other news is that Costco has now also chartered their own ships. They're having their own exclusive ships coming in now. Walmart's already been doing that. Home Depot was one of the first to go and do that. Even Rad Power Bikes were actually getting smaller ships. They wanted to avoid trying to be put on these big ones being brought in and they got their own smaller ships so they could go into smaller ports. You know, these this is this is kind of huge and it's not only affecting e-bikes. Um, Costco is actually now having limitations on once again, toilet paper and paper towels, you know, and that's because they have been having trucking issues. And of course, the big news from our, our leaders in Washington are saying that they're going to go 24-7 to get these ports cleared out. Of course, now a lot of the port experts are saying that one of the issues is not so much the unloading, but they need truckers. Uh, you can't just unload these and have them just pile up. It's actually going to slow stuff down. So they're going to try to get trucks going in and out when uh later at night when there's less traffic and you know get everything moving a little slow uh, a little faster because of the way that slow pace has been happening just because of the backlog now hats off to all of our port workers if you got if you're a port worker or you know a port worker these guys have been working so hard and continuously around the clock to try to go ahead and get this basically our country replenished so we are having all of this happening all at the same time you know not only with bikes but everything that's coming around and this is also affecting the ports in China um, that actually are picking up the stuff too. They are also another place. We're also having tor um, hurricanes that are having issues. And of course, the COVID outbreak. There's still places that are being affected by that immensely. So uh, this is, again, just an idea of what's been going on. All of these bikes are still at $9.99. And which is why I decided to pick one up now because who knows? I mean, he basically didn't say that they were going to raise prices, but I mean, the writing's on the wall. They cannot continue to go ahead and, and, and keep it. You know, container, this is actually, yeah, it was updated a month ago, but now these containers are past 20,000. And that's, you know, when you could get it before at $2,500 to $3,000 a container, now it's $20,000. Their prices have gone up 10 times. And I've said that in the last time, I mean, even Saunders you know, made that statement about that too. One of the reasons why I want to bring this out is, is where, do you, where do you get the deals? And I, I'm not a scooter guy, but I got one of the scooters from this company called Mercury Rides and again, also the Magicycle. Oh, by the way, there's only two days left for the Magicycle bike uh, at, thir at the $12.99 price. It says $13.99. But if you use the code Chris100, you'll actually get a discount of $100 off so that you'll get it for only $12.99. But again, it's only two more days left for this deal. This is literally the best e-bike deal for a 26-inch uh, fat tire e-bike at a 52-volt battery uh, for 2021. In fact, that might have been the best deal for even 2020 for the last two years. And how do, uh, how do you as a consumer get these deals at the best prices i think the best thing to do right now is you're going to have to look for companies that are actually launching products like magicycle this seems to be a trend that if you want the best prices look for companies that are actually doing pre-launches to get their name and exposure because that is becoming the marketing model that's out there now that doesn't come without risk it's a new company so you know some of the big comments that are actually very f true that were in some of the other videos is how do we know the companies are going to be around next year and that's a, who knows? I mean, with the way that costs are going up everywhere, it's possible. Now, Magicycle is one, I'm going to actually say, they are very well funded, I guess, that way. Or they're, they're in a really good situation. Um, they are not, I don't, this is not one company that's going to go away. I mean, um, it's not, it's public knowledge or it's actually just known that the owner of Magicycle actually owns two other bike factories. Uh, he does bike manufacturing for other companies. Uh, so, he knows what he's doing. He knows how the industry works. He's been around for a while. This is one of the reasons why I actually promoted it so much. They, they, they did a really, really good job. But price, it's just the, the price. I just, it just blows me away at what they put on this bike to go and do it. So you can get this bike still at twelve ninety nine. Again, last two days, it ends at uh, not on September thirtieth, which is tomorrow. And again, if you use the uh, the link ebikeproducts.com slash magicycle to be to go to the website, you click on that, it will redirect you to their website automatically. And that is an affiliate link. I do get a small kickback for that. And I do appreciate it because it does help support the channel where I can buy bikes like the electric to go ahead and do more reviews and to also get uh, accessories and supplies as well that I can go ahead and pass on uh, the deals that I'm finding out there. Again, though, like this other company, um, Mercury, which is coming out with that coupon, 
or the deal for uh, $2.99 if you use the code that's um, I have the code posted below here that you can use to get $20 off so it's like I said one of the best deals for a scooter this is kind of like honestly the electric XP of the scooter world it's a super reliable um, base model has it has all the quality component comp uh, components it's not like super high grade it's a great starter or mid start um, scooter for someone who actually wants to be able to do commuting you know they're gonna you can throw it around in the trunk and then leave it in your car but be, get you know just having some fun rides great parts and components good distance good power and you know I do have a review on it you can go ahead and look at that but this is one of those scooters that I think that will take off and the way you can get it is actually by buying it because they are trying to get their name out there and this is again it's a name brand scooter it actually is known out there um, it's just rebranded and it's it's a great deal they also have another scooter that's the s006 and this is a 10 inch and this is i guess a a higher end so it's like going up from electric to something if you're actually now going to a 26 inch this is the 10 inch tires on this one it's 350 volts and it also does have uh air filled tires so it's a little more comfortable ride but they are actually now having this for uh, 450 dollars this is one of the best deals out there if you look on amazon it's almost a hundred dollars more for this scooter exact same one s006 it's actually called the urban drift s006 if you look up it on amazon urban drift s 569 and a 30 dollars coupon you get it for 539 but if you go to mercury rides same company that has, has the m1 and you use the coupon chris006 you'll get 40 dollars off okay so i don't there's no commissions on this they just go i just if it's a great deal, I'll promote it and let people know about it. If you look on YouTube and do Urban Drift S006 and you look around for it, um, you'll f actually see that there's a lot of reviews already been done, done on this, this scooter. And that gave me the confidence to say this is something that you might want to take a look at because, like I said, it's a great deal for under $450, one of the best uh scooter deals for what you get as specs again just like the electric xp if you're in the uh, market for a beginner's e-bike this 99 9.99 is still i mean has been the best 20 inch deal for uh, since they started with the 1.0 at 899 it's you can't beat this so i'm going to just say take advantage now of what you can get before people are forced to go out and get also start getting your stuff now because you can still get it shipped at a reasonable time you know um what what levi said in his statement about getting it out there that before he wants every bike to be on the christmas that people are going to be doing promotions earlier i i'm hoping that we will see black friday deals now uh that's the one thing that we can i had didn't you know one thing i didn't ask him is what was the black friday deal that they're going to be running and you know a lot of times they won't say because they don't want the competition to go ahead and and know ahead of time but i would keep your eyes out now if, if you see any deals happening for any e-bikes don't wait jump on them this is basically how the world is going to be running till at least mid 2022 that's a bare minimum that all all the experts said in order to clear up the backlog that we have that's how it's going to be in fact the biggest news i think that's coming out lately is about christmas trees going to be up a hundred dollars more than the average price that they typically because just shipping costs if they even get it in port in time or to the stores so anyway uh not to be the doom and gloom, I just want to go ahead to share actually the positive side of this is that you can still get good deals. You just got to get them now. You just got to know where to look for. If you want to know where the other good deals are coming from, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you can be notified because that is what my mission is now. is not only to do reviews on these bikes, but to find out who has the best deals and to share it with you guys. Whether or not I have the bike I will still share it. I mean, most of the videos before I had my first bike were reviews by specs. And I still continue that. The, the 2.0, I don't have one, but I know the specs. I have a 1.0. It has all the same stuff on it. It's just that the shock absorber, uh, I mean, it has front now front suspension, three-inch tires. I want to know what the difference is on that. Uh, yes, the battery is a little different, but it does uh, still. It's still electric. It's still a great bike and you know i'm really excited to see what, what what come what they come out with if they come out with new models as well so anyway thanks again for watching don't forget to like to subscribe and i'd love to hear your comments what are you guys going to do for christmas are you going to be buying bikes or even accessories or what you know what are you gearing up for so thank you guys so much for watching and for all the support that you guys have been giving i will see you guys in the next video